Hey guys, what's up Aquarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. So this is going to be a reading for the month of February. We're going to break it down week by week and look at two situations for each week so you can have a heads up of what's, oh my goodness, okay, something's been stuck, situation, something, all right, so you can have a heads up of what's coming up. I will time stamp it below. So if it does resonate, oh my goodness, please make sure that you like and subscribe below so that you can come back to it. Oh my goodness. These cards just are jumpy. Alright, Aquarius, month of February, what's coming up? So remember the energies can always be reversed, so flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading, so just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. If you'd like a personal reading, that information's below. Alright, so I'm going to lay these out. Oh, okay, that's cool. You have an opportunity that's coming. Wow, a lot of stability there. But the thing is, it's taken a long time. Wow, you guys have a really nice reading. All right. Um, what's the love energy for the month of February for Aquarius? You have an offer that's coming the second week, and it looks like it took freaking forever. You are manifesting. You are doing your damn thing. You have the power to manifest around work, career, love, all of it. You can be successful. Uh, for some, there's like dating here or reconciliation. It could just be like a, I mean, for some, it could be a friends with benefits, but feelings are real. They're involved here. The only reason, in, I mean, not the only reason, but up here, we have somebody that's coming in as very stable. You could be dealing with an earth sign. You have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. And the last line reads third party interference. So be mindful about that. But up here, these first two weeks, right? And this is even before you get to the magician. So before you even start manifesting this opportunity up here. But chances are you've been working on it because it's taken a while. Or this person has taken a while. This is somebody who's coming in as very stable, very grounded. It could just be your finances and working on self. But the first week, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Slowest moving Knight of the deck. But with that Knight comes a solid offer. The second week, you have a solid offer. And then the third week, that's when you start manifesting. And on top of that, you're successful in doing so. So, very happy. For some, could be a raise, a promotion. All right, somebody's been undercover nervous there, and it looks like the emperor. So for the first week, you got the three of cups and the knight of pentacles. So you got the wheel next to the three of cups. For some, you could be dating, going out, or reconciling. Um, but you may have options or things can, may still kind of be on the fence. The reason is, is because the wheel's there. So it's it's about divine timing. Things are moving. They're moving in your favor. And you have an opportunity that's coming that um, this first week is still kind of like up in the air. You may be a little bit uh, indecisive or on the fence. It's moving really slow the first week. Tell me about that Knight of Pentacles. But that's how seduction rolls, right? Slow and steady. Show me that um, for some, you're like too damn slow. All right, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is a card of, of being single. But this is more so, wow, for some, you're starting a business there. Or kind of getting career and finances. Um, you're changing a lot. There's a big transformation, but you go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress. Your money is coming up, stability, security, yourself, like all things around you are beautiful. For some, you could be starting a business, could be getting back out there and dating, but you're rising like within yourself. And that's leading this momentum up to this opportunity that's coming the second week. What is this opportunity? I just say, like, you, you're within yourself coming all the way up. All right, so show me, the, what is this Ace of Pentacles for the second week for Aquarius, please? Just 
take that one. The Six of Swords. For some, it could you could be moving, you could be traveling, but what you're doing also, yeah. The Four of Wands. For some, you're moving into a new house or there's an opportunity there. It could be opportunity to travel or to visit. But remember the week before when we had the Knight of Pentacles. So like I said, the Knight of Pentacles brings a solid offer. Takes forever. But your money's looking good. So the week before, we also had this Five of Wands. There could have been some conflict, drama, competition, or just some confusion. So by the second week, you're pulling away from that. And for some, there's an opportunity to literally move into a new house or or for something that is stable, that's secure there. Show me that King of Pentacles for the second week. Still for Aquarius. So, um, this is Cancer, or sorry, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got another Ace there, the Ace of Cups. We have brand new love. Um, for some, it could be like a rekindling, especially if you're moving. Um, you could meet somebody there. This is after like focusing on self-love, self-care. It's almost like there's a new appreciation for self. Somebody may be, I know this kind of is a drawback, maybe a little bit uh, resistant there, stubborn, hard-headed. And it could be because of some type of jealousy. Okay. So the third week, you got the magician. Show me what Aquarius is manifesting the third week. <sighs> You got the five of swords. So you just had the six of swords the week before. You pulled away from, uh, overall, I don't know whose energy this is. Something that you're going towards, it sparks some jealousy. or So um, it could kind of lead to anger. Uh, <clears throat> you got the five of swords and the nine of swords. So whatever it is that you're manifesting, it may have you a little worried or nervous. Um, and sometimes with the five of swords, that can be self-sabotaging, but it's almost, it is a win at all costs. But with this type of mentality, all it's going to do is slow manifestation down. So meditate, don't stay in your head, but because you have the six of wands over here. So what you're manifesting, yeah, see, there it is again, same card, different deck. Um, there's some jealousy around it. So what is that six of wands? <clears throat> This could be a raise, this could be a promotion, or something that has, um, this Knight of Pentacles, it's taken a while. This is something that you really wanted, and it's just, it's been slow moving. The Knight of Cups, yeah, I mean, you could have a choice here between an Earth and a Water sign for some. There could be proposals this month. Don't worry and, you know, don't stay in your head, um, especially around what you're manifesting. Because this is a nice week, except for, you know, somebody's over here stressing about something. And it feels like it stems from jealousy or somebody who, like, wants your attention, but they don't know how to straight just go for it. But things are working out, so... Slowly but surely. All right, show me the Six of Cups for the fourth week, please. Oh, the Page of Cups and the Five of Cups. There's an apology here. This is a past person returning. Um, <clears throat> there's an apology. And for some, there's gifts that come with that. It's real. It's legit. Show me this Three of Wands for the fourth week also for Aquarius. The Three of Wands is kind of like a waiting card. The Queen of Swords, <laughs> the Ace of Swords. There's some there's some type of communication that's coming through. This could be something that you waited for from somebody that's at a distance at the same time. Oh shit, I see that. You got an apology coming. This just flipped over. For some, there's been some challenges overcoming a situation where there were secrets there was third party situations um you know somebody could have been given to two sides but that it could be that also that that gets revealed here um but anyways this just popped out together so i'm going to tell you this is very obvious what this is be mindful of third party situations or 
like I said, one-sided things. But um, apologies, communication. All this is lovey-dovey, but there may be, you know, Somehow anger is tying into this on someone's side. But there's a lot of new beginnings, new homes, new relationships, proposals, success, financial gain, lovey-dovey, a little bit of it all. Alright Aquarius, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.